Welcome to DarrenKagan.com. I'm Darren Kagan. This is the place you come each day to experience stories that show the world what's possible. Today I check in with two old friends of mine. Anne Bancroft and Lee Arneson are two amazing women. They're explorers. They also have two other passions, making history and teaching children. And they are setting out again. This time they're heading for the North Pole. My big accomplishment this week was catching up with Anne and Lee before they head out. This is a story of two remarkable women, former school teachers, who literally take their passions to the end of the world. In 2001, American Anne Bancroft and Norwegian Liv Arneson became the first women to ski across Antarctica. They braved freezing temperatures and treacherous terrain, pulling sleds with about 250 pounds of gear each. And they loved it. <laughs> so we're crazy enough to do it again. Only this time they're heading north, as in the North Pole. They start at Canada's Wardhunt Island and ski their way 530 miles to the top of the world. Well, we think the ice uh, itself will be the biggest challenge. It's because the, the, the Arctic Ocean ice has become thinner and thinner every year, and it's breaking up. If it's a storm coming or if it's a, a strong currents, the ice will break up. And uh, it's pretty scary, especially if it happens during the night under a tent. So that's the most scary part, I think. That thin ice is what's fueling this expedition. All along the way, they'll be sharing their journey with school children around the world, showing them with pictures and phone calls, descriptions of the signs they see of a changing Earth. Here we have this huge global classroom that is a passionate, hopeful audience, just, just ready to, to understand this issue. Anne and Lee want to show kids and the world how you can tackle a huge challenge like global warming. We know, you know, that it's really much like the expedition itself. It's a lot of small steps that start to make the difference. These women also show that passion makes a difference, no matter what your age. 51 and I'm 53. Leaves a grandmother. Now keep in mind these are no amateurs. In 1993, Anne led the first women's expedition to the South Pole. The next year, Leave became the first woman to ski to the South Pole solo. In each other, they say, they have found the ideal traveling partner. She has an unwavering spirit. She has a way of, of taking the most uh, disheartening, uh, frustrating situation and wearing it with a smile on her face where the rest of us start to fall apart and cuss and, you know, she just turns that, that energy into a positive force. You know, it's one thing to do it once or twice, but to, to see someone do it for 97 days is really a marvel to me, and, and uh, it makes her a real joy to be with. She loves uh, to share stories, loves to be an educator, and so we, and we also have the same values. We have the same uh, goal uh, for our expeditions. Together, they aim to tackle the ice and educate millions of kids. Anne and Leave are set to leave on March 4th. They estimate it'll take about 60 days for them to make it to the North Pole. And when they do, they will become the first and only women to have traveled to both poles, north and south, without resupplies. Good luck, ladies. We'll be watching your progress on your website. I'm Darren Kagan, and I'll be right back here tomorrow with another inspiring story that shows the world what's possible, right here at DarrenKagan.com.